Hello, everyone, and welcome to Backer Breaks It Down. In this episode, we explore something called the geometric mean. And well, here, an example of a geometric mean. So what do you notice? What do you wonder? So whenever you're asked to find the geometric mean between two numbers, so A and B are representing a number, you can create a proportion like this and then solve it. So check it out using a little bit of algebra. So the geometric mean, it says for any two positive numbers, A and B, the geometric mean is the positive number X such that the ratio A over X equals the ratio X over B. So let's try finding the geometric mean for these problems here. Feel free to pause right now, try it yourself, check back in. And number one, I want to find the geometric mean between 5 and 8. So I'm going to create a proportion like this. A and B are my 5 and 8. So I would have like 5 over x equals x over 8. And then I would cross multiply. So I would multiply x times x and get x squared. And then I would multiply 5 times 8. And 5 times 8 is 40. Now I need to find x because remember the geometric mean is the positive number x. And so that's going to require me to take the square root of both sides. So x is equal to the square root of 40. Now the directions say that I should like um, express my radical in simplest form. Um, I know that 40 is found by multiplying 4 times 10. So I can simply take the square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 10 can't be broken down. So basically, my final answer here is x is equal to positive 2 root 10. Taking a look at problem 2, I'm just going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to create a proportion using 4 and 18 as a and b. So I'm going to have 4 over x equals x over 18. My next step is to cross multiply. So x times x is x squared, and 4 times 18 is 72. And then I can take the square root of both sides, because I just want x. So x is equal to the square root of 72. And yes, I should definitely simplify that. Since 72 is 36 times 2, I know that this is 6 root 2. And so that's how you find the geometric mean between two numbers. And that's how Backer breaks it down.